Okay, buddy. You ready? Yeah. <clears throat> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. I know, man. But you can't lie to friends about something like this. He could get in trouble thinking he can make shit fly. Or he could get hurt. So you want me to tell him the truth? Well, I don't want you to lie anymore. You don't have to tell him everything. But don't let him think he has magic powers, okay? You swear? Okay. I swear. Deal. I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Wow! So many trees! Ugh. They look like giant cocoons. Dad pushed every year to get a plastic tree. <laughs> but we never surrendered. I bet Dad didn't know about this. <laughs> Sorry, man. I prefer my pine trees alive. You coming, Sean? <laughs> Don't behold the giant condom machine. Don't worry. I'll be around. <sighs> Jeez. Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. <laughs> Looks like someone went nuts over these blocks. I wonder what will happen to the trees no one buys. Dear Santa, we've been good kids this year. Please explain this hot mess. I'm fine for now. All the supplies my truck, so don't worry. This is so different from Seattle. Don't know if I can get used to it. Is that a yo-yo? Daniel had one back home. Betty loved this. Man, it would have been so cool to have one of these before coming here. Hi, everybody. We're taking a year off to run away from cops. Daniel has got telekinesis now. Hope you're doing well. Claire and Steven definitely have a king for Christmas. Pet that like these. Holy shit. We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. Funny how all small towns always sell the same handcrafted crap. <laughs> Reminds me of that lovely rocket Daniel made for me once. <laughs> Patriotic bears and deck chairs. <laughs> Why the fuck not? Huh? You won't find Cuter than gas station bears. Freak. 
Um, I'd like one of those snowmen things. Of course. They're handmade by local kids. Cool. Here you go. Thanks. Anything else? No. I'm good. Have a nice day, then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. <laughs> cool. Mission accomplished. We better leave now, before Claire and Steven come back. I miss Dad's Christmas at all. I think Daniel has enough broken toys. Ugh. It's weird to have all this food around after a month of ravioli diet. Hey. Hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? Uh, the Reynolds? Everybody knows Stephen. He was Beaver Creek's fire chief years ago. Uh, you're not his grandson, are you? Yes, I am. Oh, that's great. He told me about you, but um, that was a long time ago. It's been a few years, right? Yeah. Family stuff. Well, I'm uh, glad to meet our fire chief's grandson. I would have given you a discount if I'd known sooner. So, um, here you go. Whoa. Thanks. We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. Seems like Charles is waiting for us. We should get going. She looks so out of place here. Wow, you made it all the way through. Weird. You got a crush on me or something? No, what? Uh, um, no, I... I mean... It was pretty cool. I... I just... <laughs> Relax, dude. It's cool that you listened. People are usually too busy to care. <laughs> you have a great voice. Uh, you should be on one of those... singing shows. That's kinda nice. Not really my thing, though. I hate TV and show business shit. Well, thanks for the music, and good luck. See ya. It's not much, but she probably needs it more than me right now. She looks so out of place here. Hey, cool. I do weddings and bar mitzvahs as well. I hey. Hey. Miss me already? <laughs> what? Uh, no, I mean... <laughs> I'm just messing with you. It's nice to chat for a change. Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. <laughs> no, no way. Just here for the holidays. Ah. You got family. My grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for... Little jobs. And... Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Damn. That sounds kind of dangerous. <laughs> Not really. 
If you can run and jump, you're pretty much good to go. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. That doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. Better not get involved, man. This guy... doesn't look nice. You're right. They're pretty. Whoa. The guy who painted that so cool. must have been seriously look, high. <laughs> Ridiculous. Aw, uh, you're jealous because I'm cute. You're lost. Whoa. The guy who painted that must have been seriously high. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Uh, 
Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Um... Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? She was cool. You're too quick! Ah, anyway, got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle, especially trying to be a good dad. Do you have some kind of problems? I'm just not the man I was. I shouldn't have even brought this up, you know, just forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. Uh, hey, how long are you staying at your grandparents? I'm not sure. Why? Well, they stopped by yesterday. They really seem to care about Chris. But I'm afraid they get the wrong idea sometimes. Claire threatens to call social services. That's true. We are not your usual, pretty happy, suburban family model, but I know things haven't always been good for the Reynolds either. Claire is... hard. A little bit of a control freak. I know Claire likes things to go her way. Or the highway. Yeah. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, Want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can be Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. <laughs> 